children. We shall start the class with a prayer. Oh God, bless all of us so that we may learn the subjects better and do our duties well. Hope all have understood the class. The chapter is over. Yes, is it clear what was taken? It is a very familiar chapter. Uh, what are all the things, whatever you know. Then, what is it? The features of living things and the features of non-living things. And also about the difference between living things and non-living things. That was we have discussed in the class. Isn't it? By that the lesson is over. Have you gone through it everybody? Yes, all have gone through it. So, now shall we start? I'll give some questions. You have to write down the answers of it. So, shall we start the notes? So, I hope all have the notebook with you. So, take out your notebook. The single line uh, notebook. A single line notebook that you can, be used, uh, can be used as a science note. So, along with me. So, today I will give some notes. Then, some of the difficult questions. Some uh, answers are given in the uh, two or three before the videos and all. I have given the some answers that you have to find out. Before itself, Nam had said that this year onwards, your notes, my class science will be, questions will be given. You have to find out the answer and write down. Do you remember it? Do you remember it? So, find out the answer. It will be there in the textbook. It will be there in the textbook, sure. Or I had uh, shown in uh, written on in the board on the board while I was taking the class. So find it out and write down. If you find it is a difficult question, then it will be written on the board. Anyway, we will discuss also in the class. We will discuss also why the question is given. So listen nicely and write down the answers. So hope all are ready with the science notebook in your hand, pencil, a scale, eraser. Ready? Yes. So, uh, you are going to write, you know how to write the note and all. So, today I will show how to start the new chapter. Whenever you start writing the new chapter, how to write the heading. First of all, how to write the heading. Not just writing the heading and starting. I will show how to do it. So, it looks neat. Your books look neat. Okay. So, this will be your your new notebook. This is my old notebook. That is why. So when you open the notebook, where 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 will you start writing first? On this side, on your on the right side of the book. Okay, on the right side of the book, you will start writing. Is it clear? So there you will start. So leave this left side page and start writing in the right side. Then when you turn after finishing here, when you turn, you will start writing here. Yes. So that that you know. Isn't it? So again what I am going to do is use your scale and pencil. Use your scale and pencil and I will tell what to do. That is you can see you can see a red line first line. The pink line. Can't you see there? Can't you see there? There you are going to draw a line. On that line with your scale and pencil you are going to draw the line over it. Understood. So I'll show it on the board. So with the help of the scale and pencil, draw a line on that pink line using your pencil. I'm using the red pen here. Yes, did you get it? The margin will be here like this. So like this on that pink line, you draw with the draw with the pencil on it. Look here. Look here, like this. No, look here, this one. See. See, I have drawn with the black pen here. On this line, draw a line like this. Over it. Got it? Again. Again, see. Now, already I have written the chapter name that we can see. That is the first black line. That is the first black line. After that, the second black line. Can't you see the second black line? Can't you see there? There also, not the first one, no? On the, not on the first one, the second one, you can use your pen in the same way, use your pencil and scale and draw the line there also. There is a black line here or a blue line, whatever it is, a black line will be here like this. Leave that line, then on the second black line, that is, this is the first black line. On the second black line, again draw with the pencil there, over, over that. 
in this way so this in this way on the second black line draw with the pencil using your pencil and scale draw it got it no so that we call it as the double line no so whenever you start a chapter you have to draw this double line and start so again what you have to do so that books look book look neat your heading will be there you understand this is the next uh, chapter the uh, next chapter heading is it like that it looks neat so do it again you have to follow next class onwards the next chapter onwards ma'am just tell draw the double line and write means this is what i have mentioned okay so be uh, careful again you have to do like this the book should look neat understood what you have to do again is you got the a line here a middle line here on that line in the margin you have to put the date put today's date put today's date then here you can write chapter 1 living and non living things and try to write in cursive i hope all know how to write in cursive so write in cursive everybody don't use your script writing write in cursive okay so chapter 1 living and non living things if you don't have space to write there you can write on the next line so that much is it clear to you so shall we start the notes can i give the notes so again what is again on the next line put roman number 1 give the heading answer the following answer the following and so the for this first one we are going to see in the first question define in all the classes ma'am had said what is the term meaning of define define means what is meant by it what are if i ask define living things you have to write down what are living things the answer for that what are living things so that is the term meaning of define Okay, define first one. Define living things. Define living things. That means what? What are living things, or what are meant by living things? So, what is the answer? You can give there. It is given in the first video in the first class of this chapter. It is given there. Ma'am have written and given, and also in your textbook. that yellow box you can see there written day yes what is it things that can things that can move things uh, can eat can grow yes can breathe can give birth to young ones or call living things that is the answer understood only that means is not no need of the example only if the question is like that define living things with example only then you have to mention the example otherwise just write what are living things that is the term meaning of definition define so don't get confused define living things means write down what are living things and the first answer i have given i'm not going to write it here find it out it is given in your textbook also in the yellow color box on next page living things the things that can move that can grow that can eat are called the living things and so that you will be there or you can check in the first class first video find it out and write down so the answer should be written don't give me the book like this itself write down the answer same way the next question after this answer writing this answer leave a line leave a line and write down b then define i am not writing again define here already it is mentioned here isn't it so define non living things define non living things that is the second question what are non living things same way just opposite of it what is it things that cannot move cannot eat cannot grow 
cannot give birth to young ones are called the non living things did you get it yes so these are the this is the answer for living and non living things so if you have any doubt you can go to the class uh, the textbook write down you can look from you it is your work now to find out the answer from your textbook or from the other uh, videos and write down the answer then only you will learn otherwise only what ma'am is writing on the board that you will be copying down and writing so don't want that work again you also work little then only you will learn you will learn at that time yes and whenever you are writing an answer understand it and write so that at that moment itself you will learn also what does it understand it and write down appa thana padikinchi okay so write down it again the next one again see life span life span means What's the, what is the meaning of life span? What the, what is the life span? Or define life span. Define life span. That answer is not given properly there in the textbook. So, man will write and give what is meant by life span. That answer will be written on the board. That you can copy down. So, I'm going to write here the age limit. The age limit. up to which up to which living things can live living things can live is known as is known as life span so that answer is not given properly in your text that is why ma'am had written and given here the age limit up to which living things living things can live is known as life span did you get an answer and uh, is it clear are you able to read isn't it is readable no so this is the answer for define life span so these are the three definition questions copy down it uh, for these two you will find out the answer and write down already just discussed in the class so find it out and write up again the next two again also whenever you write i have said after writing the answer leave a line and write a second question write the answer leave a line and write the next one again leave a line and write question number 2 Right question number two. Ma'am is going to rub the board. The next question, second number two. Yeah, write, write any five features. Write any five features of living things. write any five features of living things so write down the five specialities of any five any five which is easier for you to learn you can write down i don't want it is given in the textbook clearly you can take the textbook and look yes it is given there uh, first one in the in bold they have written can you see it only that sentence should be written the first one living things need food and water to live if you want to write that you can write then second one living things grow i don't want in any order which one you feel the speech should be written that one so only the uh, point should be written no need of any detail about it is it clear living things can grow living things grow in size with the time no need of all those things only that first line living things grow that is the first feature second one if you want to write living things breathe write the second feature that is enough okay then living things give birth to young ones yes out of this there are seven features are given out of it any five features of living things should be written here and when you write i don't want everything together written like a in one line ah uh, and you will feel difficult to learn also while you are learning so what you have to do write as each point first one right here ah uh, a write down the first point or put, you can put one day 
or you can put a star there hmm? and write down the first feature living things can breathe if you write it living things can breathe finished on the second line write the second point then third line third point like that five points should be written in each each line got it so in it will the book also look neat and you will be also able to learn properly yes so this is the way you have to write the features of living things so that is the next question write any five features of living things no need of any details about each feature living things can grow fish are special organ called gills no nothing i need living things can grow that is enough if i ask any name the following question the organ through which the fish breathe that time you can give me the answer gills that is enough otherwise write only the features of living things here five features of living things any five no no order they any five you should like to give here write down it understood next one number 3 question number 3 leave a line again and write down the next question write any four differences write any four differences between living and non living things and non living things right any four differences between living and non living things yes so this is a question again for this when you write the answer how will you write down the answer there are many differences given on the next page you can see uh, difference between living and non living things all these are direct questions what i am giving on the board isn't it so any four out of this which you feel to be written write down that so whenever you write give the heading here first you give the heading here living things give the heading here living things yes then draw a line in the middle center you draw the line you can draw a line like this also then write here non living things yes yes living things non living things now you write the difference how you write first one you can put a star here here first one you are writing here living things grow or grow yes if you writing like here they are living things grow like that you write living things grow then what will you write here they do not grow they grow you can write like that also they grow they do not grow it should be written like that don't write just grow they grow like this you can write they grow one example i'm giving here what you can keep here just opposite no they do not grow same way next one write down hmm? they can move if you are writing here they can move they cannot move next they give birth to young ones they do not give birth to young ones fourth one they breathe they do not breathe Yes, like that you have to write down. If you don't know to draw the star, means you can give A, B, C, D like that points. So this is the way you have to write the notes. So that is enough for you today. Then there will be many one-word questions also that I have not given. I have uh, made you to underline the important points. Remember in the life class and all, all those are very important. Uh, uh, write, understand, and write down. Okay. So this is the. chapter we have finished up the chapter in the next class ma'am will be taking the next chapter second chapter so just go through it and be ready for the next class then this work should be written and given i am giving you one week time no need of uh, giving me the next day itself within one week time you can submit me the work understood the time uh, and this should be submitted in the google classroom itself 
Google Classroom itself you have to submit. I will give the time, day and time. It will be given in that. So one week time. Okay, children. So thank you. Have a nice day.